Welcome everybody, welcome back. Uh, today uh, I want to do a quick video of this uh, hone I just I just finished uh, lapping it. Um, still need some more work but it's good enough for me to make a video. I have some down spots but the down spots are out of the way and this is a very small travel uh, uh, hone. And it is a Thuringian, right? And it's in excellent, excellent conditions. The down spot is down here. And I'll show you once it gets wet, you can see a little bit better. And the label on it, it <laughs> I kind of ruined it. I'm kicking myself in the pants. It used to be like new. Let's see if you can see it. And I put some epoxy over it, and you see it, it bulged and it blew up. And I'm very upset about that. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but if you haven't seen one of these in person, uh, these are not Eschers, uh, at least this one is not. Some Eschers did come in, in wood like this. Um, this one does not have the Escher emblem, so this says it, it doesn't say Escher anywhere. It says the Genuine Thuringian Water uh, Hone for razors. Look at that. And uh, the label inside just gives you the instructions. Uh, it says, uh, these are genuine water homes, preferred to all other by all others by cutlers, barbers, for sharpening razors, small tools, etc. They need no recommendations to their quality than a single trial, <laughs> which be sufficient to convince the most incredulous of their superiority which are particular to keep them from oil and grease made in Germany um, these are natural if you're not uh, aware of these uh, these are excellent excellent homes and these if you know anything about Thuringians uh, and uh, you have heard about Eschers well Eschers are Thuringians not all Thuringians are Eschers Eschers is just a, a, a company uh, highly regarded company that uh, exported these and mined these uh, but there are other companies that also mine them and, and, and export them like uh, SRD um, SR Drosher and, and many others All right so let's get started uh, start getting let's, let's start let's start honing So all I do is get it wet, I'll show you this beautiful home. She's a beauty. Uh, I had other uh, Thuringians in my in my videos before. Uh, this specimen, <laughs> this one is, is excellent because it came with a box and I was really excited to see it and uh, it, it needed a lot of lapping. I guess the person before me used it a lot for uh, tools more than razors. And uh, but now it's lap, now it's good. I will be holding this in the hand. Uh, it is a one by uh, five, six maybe. And uh, the razor that I'm honing right now, I'm just gonna do some finish finishing touches on it. And is a Busher's brother uh, shape field, and all I'm gonna be doing is I slurry her up, and I'm gonna do 20, 30 passes, and then start diluting until I'm just honing and just plain water, and that's usually what I do with thirties, <laughs> three Indians. Um, a lot of them are great finishers. I remember when I first started honing, these were not specifically these, but the ringans were uh, very popular. They still are. They, they, they have their 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 crowd, uh, kind of like the Jaina guys. Jainas have gathered a lot more popularity, but these are excellent, excellent stones. Uh, while lap while lapping it, I notice that it's very soft. 
uh, compared to like a JNet. And in my experience with these, I had four or five. I had one of these celebrated homes. By the way, these are called celebrated homes. Um, usually are these this this size on the celebrated ones. And uh, my experience on, on Thuringians, they're usually on the soft side, uh, but they do provide a very nice, uh, soft, comfortable shave, shaving edge. Um, then Thuringians get classified by colors. Uh, I have not found any coloration. Uh, I haven't found that the color means that they're more fine or less fine some people claim that the darker ones are harder or provide a finer edge uh, don't know <laughs> i had a yellow one and it provided an excellent edge and this one is pretty dark i think this one will be considered blue or black uh blue and uh and this is actually the first time I actually hone on this. So hopefully, uh, JR Reyes, the owner of this racer, will like the edge on this. Don't worry, I will shave test first and then <laughs> ensure that it, the edge is a part for what he likes. I have honed several racers for him, so I kind of have an idea of what, what he likes. But he likes me experimenting sent hand racers with from different stones so that's good so right now it's really really smooth i'm gonna try to put it closer to you guys so you guys can hear the the grinding let's see It's really, really smooth. Um, very, very nice feel. I'm really, really happy with this this particular stone. I had another celebrated, but the box was all jacked up. Um, this one was in excellent condition, so I ruined the the label. <laughs> but it should be good, man. The stone that I used before this throughout currently was an 8000 Naniwa Superstone and so we're just finishing this particular racer from an 8000 stone uh, for what I see in my limited experience there's a lot more people out there uh, with a lot of experience on these particular stones um, these are not as the range is not as big as uh, a lot of the JNATs. JNATs uh, with slurry usually a, a good JNAT will have an excellent range from mid, mid range to being able to finish on them uh, I, these have a nice range but usually they're in the high range and you know I wouldn't go from a 1k to one of these uh, can it be done I don't know I think actually Lynn Abrams has a video on doing a one home stone on a three I don't know I can't remember maybe it's Glenn um, so what I'm doing while I'm reaching that way is I just keep getting my finger wet and just dropping a, a little drop in there uh, of water and uh, I'm just diluting and if you haven't noticed the slurry is almost gone and I'm getting some resistance uh, which is really good and it took longer than I was expecting which is very good um, I have some thuringians that from the AK I I go to the to the stone and like five ten passes and it starts getting grippy uh, and then there's not much more that you're gonna gain if you keep honing if it is already gripping uh, that's basically 
all you want to get out of that stone and you can hurt the edge depending on if you keep going so right now I'm gonna wipe this razor I'm gonna make sure I have no slurry whatsoever wipe the stone So the other reason I like these in the box is even though that they're small like this one, the stone itself, but the box adds another half an inch maybe. Uh, so you can actually put this in a stand sort of like this and then you can hone on it. Uh, but I found that small stones such as this one, they're great for... Uh, holding them in the hand because you get more control and you can actually feel as you are gliding that razor and you don't go you know sideways on the on the stone let's do some uh, palm lap uh, palm stropping and then uh, we'll do some final touches and I have a very good feeling about this razor it's gonna be awesome Now guys, do not ever be afraid of purchasing a small stone because it looks small and you're used to honing on a 3 inch uh, bench stone. Um, these are usually inexpensive compared to, you know, an Asher that will cost you five, six hundred dollars of like a bigger size one. Um, so. You can get these for, I've seen them, $80, $100, uh, up to $200, bucks, depending on if it's an Escher or it's not marked Escher. Uh, and it doesn't take much to learn how to hone on these small ones like that. Um, same with the... Same with the... Uh, synthetics that they're making now for well they've been making for a bit for the for that machine that you put them <laughs> you can get oh that's nice that's like glass uh, you can get like a Tracera set you can get like the Suhero uh, 20k for like 80 bucks instead of 350 dollars or whatever that costs for the full size uh, you can even get our Arkansas stones. Uh, I like bring Arkansas. So, if you don't know much about Thuringians and and Eschers, and I just spitball in here because uh, I mentioned Escher a lot, um, it's kind of like Arkansas, right? Arkansas. There's a lot of different companies throughout the decades that actually sold them uh, a lot of the most current ones are Norton's but they used to be Pike used to have some and they're different brands right so they all Arkansas they're all coming from Arkansas they're, they're all number cool based stones and uh, it's just just a brand uh, now don't get me wrong Eschers have a very good established reputation but you can find non-labeled Eschers, uh, usually cheaper and very good, very good uh, performers. And this one, my goodness, it's like soapy right now. It's awesome. It's like glass. All right, guys. So. Not gonna keep boring you with this, but uh, let me know what you think. Uh, thank you for stopping by, and uh, this is my latest uh, Turingian celebrated water razor hone. 
Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys later.